Today, we will talk about SEC Form 13F, what it is, filing requirements, and key issues. SEC Form 13F is a quarterly report that institutional investment managers with at least $100 million in assets under management are required to file. It discloses their equity holdings and can provide insights into what the smart money is doing in the market. In 1975, Congress created the 13F requirement to provide the U.S. public with a view of the holdings of the nation's largest institutional investors. Institutional investment managers include mutual funds, hedge funds, trust companies, pension funds, insurance companies, and registered investment advisors. Smaller investors frequently use these filings to determine what the smart money is doing in the market, but there are serious problems with the reliability and timeliness of the data. These problems include unreliable data, timing of reporting, herd behavior, and an incomplete picture. Institutional managers with assets under management of $100 million or more must file SEC Form 13F, disclosing their equity holdings. The new 13F rule, announced by the SEC in 2022, requires filers to round the security holding values to the nearest dollar rather than the nearest thousandth dollar. It also requires that Form 13F be filed via the SEC's electronic data gathering, analysis, and retrieval system. SEC Form 13F requires institutional managers with $100 million or more in assets to disclose their holdings. Form 13D is a beneficial owner report that has to be filed and a person or group of persons acquire more than 5% of a voting class of a company's equity securities. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The SEC's Form 13F must be filed quarterly by institutional investment managers with at least $100 million in assets under management. 2. Congress intended these filings to provide transparency on the holdings of the nation's biggest investors. 3. Smaller investors frequently use these filings to determine what the smart money is doing in the market, but there are serious problems with the reliability and timeliness of the data. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.